Hi, I am going to show you how to create customized buttons for your Canvas page. I'm going to be using PowerPoint. And to preface, the two fonts that I'm going to be using are AG Resting Teacher Face Solid and AG World's OKest Mom. So to start off, you'll decide what shape you want your buttons to be. I'm going to use circles, so you'll select the circle tool. If you want a perfect circle without having to mess around with it, you can hold down the shift button while you create the circle and it will keep it as a perfect circle. So you're going to do that and then you are going to choose your fill color. If you have a color scheme that you're wanting to follow, then you can import those. I have another video that shows you how to pull specific colors from a color palette or from another image that you've used previously. So once I have the color that I want, I am going to get rid of the shape outline. So this little one, I'm going to click no outline for it, but then I'm going to right click and copy that and paste it again so that I have another circle, exact same size. But this time I'm going to do the inverse. So I'm going to change my outline color to black and my shape fill to no fill. And the reason that I'm going to do this is because I'm going to make my outline a little bit askew. You can kind of notice how it doesn't line up perfectly. So to do that, I'm going to go back up here to shape format, come to my outline, you can change the weight if you'd like it a little bit heavier. And then PowerPoint has this new feature that you can go to sketched. And when you click on sketched, you'll notice that it's going to make the lines look a little bit more hand drawn instead of perfectly round. So you can choose which one you like and then put it over your solid button fill that you filled. Um, then select both of those, copy and paste, so that you can have your icons all the same size. And if you want, you can move your outline so that it's not all exactly the same. And then you can go in and change your color to a different color. Next, I'm going to add my icons on top of my button. I have some hand-drawn ones here, which is a font from a Perfect Blend Teaching. And she has lots of different ones. You can also search online, um, but I'm gonna use these for the tutorial. So I'm going to paste that in and resize it, and then just drag it on top of my icon. And then I'm going to resize this so it's not super large. I'm going to resize it so that it fits inside the button because when I save all of this, I don't want it to create too much white space around my button. And then my last step is going to add a text, book, text box down below and we'll say this is science. And I'm going to use World's Okayest Mom for that and put it right below. So now, if I want to put this onto my Canvas page, I'm going to select all of those pieces, right click, and then I'm going to save it as a picture. And we'll save it as science icon to my desktop. And you're gonna save it as a PNG. Then once you save, you can go to your Canvas course and you'll click on edit and scroll down to where you want it. So you'll notice I used a table when I imported all of my icons just to keep them spaced the same, but you don't have to do that. Um, so click here, you're going to click on upload an image and then I'm going to select, ooh, what a mess, select my science icon. So now I have this icon and then I can add a link to it 
if you're not sure how to do that. I have another YouTube video for that. I just don't want this to get too long. Um, so then we will save and you will have your icon right on your Canvas homepage. So I hope that that helps. Um, if you wanted to create a header that looks similar to this, I also have another tutorial for that as well. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and have fun creating.